This is a demo to show you um, GitHub Code Spaces. What is GitHub Code Spaces? It's a virtual machine, uh, a coding um, on a virtual machine that you can open from within a GitHub repository. This is a paid feature. You do need to have GitHub Teams for this to work. You won't be able to see this if you have the free version. So let's see how it works. This is going to allow you to run code within a repository. So um, I just click here. There we go. You can see I have code spaces. Again, this is because I am using a paid version of GitHub. So I go here and so these are my code spaces. I've set this one up. It's a four core eight uh, gigabytes because what I'm doing is kind of computationally a little heavy. So I click that and now it is opening up my code space. There we go. It's taken a few minutes. All right. Shows what it was up to down here. It's all good. All right. So now it's good. And yeah, so these are these are the files I'm looking at here. These are the the uh, Jupyter notebooks from this hackathon. And uh, okay, so now that I'm within this Jupyter notebook, I can just run. Uh, I'll just do run all. I could run them individually. I'm going to do run all so you can see how it works. So it's just running through the code. And this is all happening on this virtual machine. And there we go. You can see it all runs runs nicely on this. Okay, so let's jump in and see a little bit how this is uh, working. So this folder right here is the dev container, and that uh, contains the information about the virtual machine that you're setting up. And when I set this one up, I just use a, pr a pre-made container. So I'm going to do uh, Shift-Command-P and... So um, shift command P got me this um, sort of command palette where I can do different things. And from here, I could click this. I'm not going to click it now because I don't want to set up a new container, but I can click that here. And then that's going to give me a drop down. And one of the options is a Jupyter data science container. And that uh, has Python, R, Julia, uh, a bunch of Python um, packages, a bunch of R packages, and it, it all has that uh, there. So that's what I'm using as the foundation. Now the um, the the files that I'm running these tutorials, they need a whole bunch of extra uh, Python packages, and so to uh, have those loaded up into my container, I have this environment file. If you are a program in Python and you're uh, familiar with Conda environments, that's what this is. If you're not familiar with that, it's basically just a file that is saying all the packages that I would like to have loaded up into this environment. Um, I just used the ones that we used in the hackathon, and it has a few things that I don't need, need here. Actually, it has a lot of things that I don't need here. Um, in particular, I am not using Jupyter Lab here, so I, I could get rid of that, but I didn't. I just used what I had. So it uh, loaded, loads all these up, and the first time you're setting up this code space, it does take a little while, and you do want to uh, probably... Um, get the, the terminal here um, going so you can kind of watch as it's taking its time. The next time that you start it up, it doesn't take that long.
you, you saw, I, I just starts right up. So you have that. And then um, you need to customize your container here and tell it to use this environment. So if you go here and you go towards the bottom, um, what this is, is code that's going to run after the container is started. So in this case, I wanted to uh, update this environment. And I used Mamba here um, just because it um, doesn't use quite as much RAM as a Conda environment. So you could uh, you know, run whatever code you need to um, here. All right. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, it's got um, you know connected to GitHub, obviously. So you know here I could push these changes if I wanted a um, little bit faster. You can see this thing here. I can just sync up to the repository as I'm working. Uh, I'm working on the main branch. I could uh, create a a branch just for my code space and then push changes to the branch. All that good stuff. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed this little introduction to GitHub Code Spaces.